Welcome to Banner Overview and Navigation. Today we will discuss Banner Basics, the Banner Main Menu, Banner Administrative Pages and Navigation, and Banner Filters and Queries. Banner is a relational database. It is composed of a suite of administrative systems designed to support certain aspects of institutional management. For example, finance, human resources, payroll, student, accounts receivable, and financial aid. Banner contains both Banner administrative pages and self-service Banner components. MyBama is the portal where we access Banner admin pages and Banner self-service. Access this portal by entering mybama.ua.edu in your browser. Banner allows you to use any browser, although Internet Explorer is probably the slowest, so we do not recommend it. Enter your MyBama username and password. Your MyBama username should be provided to you. You will need to activate Duo on your MyBama account in order to access Banner. See the website listed here for help in setting up Duo. Duo is UA's second factor of authentication. The first factor is your username and password for MyBama. Duo adds a second layer of security to your MyBama account, requiring two factors to verify your identity upon logging into the website. Duo users have three choices for authentication. A Duo push that requires an app on a smartphone or tablet, a phone call either to a mobile phone or landline phone, or passcodes. Check the Remember Me for 30 days box and your specific computer and browser will remember this step for 30 days and bypass this page. This is the MyBama homepage. Navigate to the Employee tab. The links to Self-Service Banner are in the top section of the Employee page with Finance at the bottom. The link to Banner Production or Banner Administrative Pages is under Administrative Systems. Choose Banner 9 Administrative Pages. Once in Banner, you may want to close out of MyBama. MyBama times out after about 30 minutes and could cause your Banner session to time out as well. Using a direct link to Banner is sometimes preferable to going through MyBama to prevent the timeout issue. The direct link is located above. This brings us to the Banner Finance Home or Welcome page. Notice the search box in the middle of the screen. There is also a menu located down the left side of the screen. The main menu can be expanded by clicking on the hamburger icon or the three horizontal lines menu button at the top left of the screen. The first icon in our menu is Home or Dashboard. When choosing this option, it will bring you to the Banner Home or Welcome page. The next choice in our Banner main menu looks like a grid and is Applications. There are three options under Applications, Banner, My Banner, and My Links. The Banner option takes you through a series of menus by drilling down into the Banner module, Student, Finance, Human Resources, etc. Then through the various areas of the Finance module, General Ledger, Finance Operations, etc. And finally, to the actual banner pages noted by the seven character acronym for the page. This method is difficult for navigating through banner. We will give more options to reach the banner pages. Notice the star out beside the final page drill down. This is to note any favorite pages. The filled in star is a favorite, while the outline of the star is not a favorite. We will discuss this more later. The page names are written in acronym form and actually do have meaning. For example, page FGIBDST, or sometimes referred to as BDST, 
It stands for Finance, General, Inquiry, Budget, Status. The first character in the form name represents the primary system or module owning the page. In this case, Finance. The second character in a form name represents the submodule owning the page. In this case, G for General Ledger. The third character in the page name represents the type of page or report. In this case, I equals inquiry form. Finally, positions four through seven make up a unique four character abbreviation of the page or report. In our case, budget status. The second option under the Applications menu is My Banner. You can create your own banner menu that narrows down the pages that you normally view. This is set up from the banner page GUAPMNU for My Banner Maintenance. From the GUAPMNU page, your My Bama username should be located in the field for Personal Menu. Choose Go and under the Menu Maintenance section, choose Type Oracle Forms Module. You can access the list below by clicking in the table. These are all the available forms or pages in Banner. You can scroll through and move items to your menu by highlighting and double-clicking a form or object and then choosing Insert Selection to include it in your personal menu on the right. You could also filter the list to look up various forms or objects and move them to your menu. Once in the Object Selection side of the screen, you can change the description of the page if you prefer. Choose Save at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen to save your changes. You would need to exit Banner and re-enter for your changes to take effect. Notice that the My Banner menu also has the stars to the side that our Banner menu had. You can also set favorites from this menu as well. The third option under the Applications menu is My Links. You can create links to other websites to quickly open up a new browser while in Banner. Just remember that other applications requiring dual authentication could time out and cause your Banner session to also time out. These links are created on the GUAUPRF General User Preferences Maintenance screen. The third menu item on the Banner main menu is Search. This is the same as the search box on the Welcome or Home page. There are two options for search. The first is Search that brings up options for you after entering the first three characters and tries to autofill your answer looking for any of those three characters contained in the page acronym or page name. Direct Navigation requires that the exact page name or acronym must be entered and Banner does not try to give suggestions or complete the search until you have finished entering your selection. The fourth main menu option is Recently Opened or a File Folder. This option is unavailable until you have accessed a Banner page. It displays a count of pages above the folder after you have opened pages in the application. You can open the list and navigate to a page that you previously accessed. The fifth main menu option is a question mark for help. The first option in this menu is page help. This is banner delivered help for the specific page you are viewing. The second option provides application navigator keyboard shortcuts. The sixth option in the main menu is the star or favorites. We briefly discuss setting up favorites by clicking the star beside the desired pages on your Banner menu or My Banner menu from the Applications menu. This is where those favorites will appear. Simply uncheck the star beside the pages in your favorites list 
to remove them from favorites. The seventh option in the main menu is an icon with an arrow or sign out. This is pretty self-explanatory. If you want to sign out a banner, choose this option. The eighth and final option in our banner main menu is an icon that looks like a person or my account. You can see a bubble with a number above this icon. This is letting me know that I have 37 banner messages. These messages are typically for disapproved journal vouchers or budget changes. Our OIT team delivered an email message for this purpose when we converted to Banner 9. However, the data remains in GUA MESG until you remove these items by deleting them. So if I choose the first option for check banner messages in my menu, it takes me to GUA MESG. From here, I can delete the messages that I no longer need by choosing delete from the menu in the top right. Choose save at the bottom right to save these changes. The second option on the My Account menu is My Preferences. The first tab on the page is for display options. Notice I have mine checked to show the form name or acronym on the title bar and also in the menus. I also have the boxes checked to show the release number of the form and the database instance on the title bar. The next section has alert options that can be checked or unchecked. The third section gives you the option to include the header row in the data extract when you export to Excel. This is helpful to have checked. The last section of the page has user interface color settings so that you can modify the colors that appear on your screen. Be careful when making these changes. The next tab is directory options. I would encourage you to leave these settings as they are assigned to the defaults. The third tab is the My Links tab, which we discussed briefly earlier. You can create links on your Banner Dashboard Applications menu to quickly open up a new browser tab for you to access that website. Enter the URL in one of the personal link URL rows to set up that link. Enter the desired description of the link above it. The final tab is Menu Settings, and there's no need to make changes here. After you save any changes made, you would need to exit Banner and re-enter for the changes to take effect. The final choice on the My Account menu is Personal Settings. There are three options available. The first is, do you need sign out confirmation, yes or no? If you set the option to yes, when choosing sign out from the left side menu, you will be asked if you are sure you want to exit. The second option is Preferred Initial Page. You can basically bypass the Banner Welcome page and go straight to a specific Banner Admin page when logging into Banner. If there is a page that you look at initially, enter the page acronym here. Otherwise, leave it blank to go to the Welcome page. The third option is Search Preference Indicator. This will be your preference for your Home or Welcome page and your search icon on the left side menu. Check the radio button for either search or direct navigation. Choose save when you are done. You must also exit banner and re-enter to see these changes. One of the most common ways to navigate through banner admin pages is from the search box on the home or welcome page. When I start typing the acronym for FGIBDST, the budget status page, suggestions are listed for other pages that have FGI in the acronym or page name. You can either choose from the drop down list or finish typing out the acronym and enter. A banner page is a web form in which you enter and look up information stored in your database. Pages visually organize information so it is easier to enter and read. 
Banner gives various icons and keyboard shortcuts that allow you to navigate based on your preferences. Notice the exit or page close icon at the top left corner beside the title bar in the page header. When you are finished viewing the page, exit takes you back to the home or welcome page. Next to the exit button is the title bar with the name of the page being viewed and the acronym if we chose to display these in my preferences as well as the release number of the page in the banner instance pride for production. The next buttons are grayed out and unavailable, add and retrieve. These two buttons are related to banner document management system. We use OwnBase for our document management, so these buttons will not be available. The next button is related menu, which displays a list of other pages that can be accessed from this page. Then the tools menu. The tools menu includes refresh, export, print screenshot, clear records, clear data, item properties, and other options controlled by the page. The notification center will be located to the right of the tools menu when a notification is displayed. It contains the following types of information. Successful save of data, warning messages, error messages, informational messages, and number of messages to be corrected to continue in the page. Each banner admin page is made up of sections. The next part of the page we will look at is the key block. The first section on most pages contains key information. It determines what data is entered or displayed on the rest of the page. All of the information on the page is related to the key section. The key block stays on the page as subsequent sections are displayed. Tab from field to field entering information. You can use the ellipsis button beside the field to look up possible values. Then choose the go button to view the data. Alt page down is the keyboard shortcut for go. If you hover the mouse over go, the keyboard shortcut is displayed. The key block of data we entered remains at the top of the page. The next section displays the budget status for the key data entered. Notice the section header menu at the top right of the data. Options are settings, insert, delete, copy, and filter. Settings allows you to customize banner pages for your needs. Settings can be saved for the number of records per page and the way the grid of data appears on the page. See Banner User Preference Settings training video for more details. Records can be sorted by clicking on the column header. Since this page is an inquiry page that cannot be changed or updated, the insert and delete and copy buttons in the menu are unavailable. Finally, filter is the last option available. We will discuss this when looking at another banner page. Notice that there are arrows at the bottom left of the page showing one of four total pages since 20 records are shown per page. Choose the arrows to move between the pages. To query a different set of data, choose Start Over or Function Key F5 as a keyboard shortcut. Notice that the related menu is now available. There are three additional banner pages that can be accessed from this page along with the keyboard shortcut that can be used. The three pages are FGIB Sum, Budget Summary Information, FGIOENC, Organization Encumbrances, and FGITRND, Transaction Detail Information. The same key block information will be used for the first two pages. The transaction detail will depend on the record or account code line that you have highlighted on the FGI BDST screen. Depending on the column, you may also access different information in FGI TRND as well. For example, if my cursor is in the year-to-date activity column, it will pull only actuals or those year-to-date YTD field codes 
and no budget data. Notice the Tools menu. It has several actions available. Refresh, similar to Start Over. Export, allows you to export data on the page to Excel. Print Screenshot, allows you to print the banner screen. Clear Record and Clear Data allow you to clear information out of data interable fields. Item Properties list all properties for the field where the cursor is currently located. And other items to note are Page Layout for Expanded or Compact. Compact is the default page layout. It reduces the amount of excessive white space on pages and increases the amount of information visible on the page, limiting the need to scroll vertically. Expanded page layout displays pages with increased white space and reduces the amount of information visible on a page. This may result in the need to scroll to see all of the information. Also note that you can increase or decrease the font size in Banner by using the control plus the mouse scroll. For pages with multiple sections, Sections can be expanded or collapsed by clicking on the section headers. Use the up and down arrows at the bottom left of the page to move between sections or the keyboard shortcuts of Alt Page Up and Alt Page Down. Let's take a look at filtering or querying in Banner. In FGI TRND, I previously entered data in my key section and chose Go. This particular page requires me to enter a query. See the notification message to the right of the Tools menu? We have two filter options, Basic or Advanced. The Basic filter assumes an operator of equal to if no other operators are entered. For example, I entered 70001 as the account code and the filter pulled only those records with my previous entries from the key block and the account code 70001. To try another filter of the same key block data, choose Filter again. Now let's look at the advanced filter. This filter requires you to choose an operator. The available operators depend on the type of field, numeric, alphanumeric, date, checkbox, or other. These are the filters for text fields. Notice that the percent symbol is a wildcard character. It can mean any character or any number of characters. These are the operators for numeric fields. The date field also has an option of between as an advanced operator to pick dates between and including the two dates entered. Banner also allows you to set user preferences and defaults for filters. See the Banner User Preference Settings video for more information. Please be sure to check out more resources on our website, financialaccounting.ua.edu. We have a section called References that contains some helpful information. Banner Finance Forms is a listing of commonly used Banner pages. Banner Screen Quick Reference gives an overview of these screens and Navigation References contains keyboard shortcuts for Banner. Thank you.